Made on a budget of under $10 million, the charming Australian rom-com Crocodile Dundee showcased the unlikely love story between a rugged Australian outback dweller and a journalist with a penchant for luxury. Surpassing all predictions, the movie exceeded global expectations and achieved the remarkable feat of becoming Australia's highest grossing film in history. Numerous cast members from the film transitioned from relative obscurity to attain the status of bona fide movie stars. Regrettably, the passage of time has seen the demise of several of these talented individuals, so let's reminisce about the actors who are no longer with us as we pay tribute to their lasting impact on the world of cinema. Renowned for his versatility in both drama and comedy, John Meehlin left an indelible mark on both Crocodile Dundee and its sequel. His significant contributions extended to Australian New Wave classics such as Wake and Fright and The Cars That Ate Paris. Tragically, he succumbed to cirrhosis at his Neutral Bay residence in August 1989 and was posthumously honored with the prestigious Raymond Longford Lifetime Achievement Award. Pioneering indigenous talent, David Gopalil left an indelible mark on Australian cinema. Breaking into the industry at the age of 16 in the 1971 movie Walkabout, his illustrious 50-year career featured iconic films like The Tracker, Charlie's Country, The Last Wave, and Rabbit Proof Fence, which earned him a Best Supporting Actor nomination from the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts Awards. Apart from his remarkable acting skills, David was renowned for his talents as a tribal dancer, singer, and painter. Despite his ongoing struggle with lung cancer since being diagnosed in 2017, he persevered in leaving a lasting legacy. Regrettably, four years later he passed away at the age of 68, leaving behind three wives and seven children. A dedicated member of the Screen Actors Guild and SAG-AFTRA board, Mark Bloom is widely recognized for his role in the 1985 film Desperately Seeking Susan. Additionally, he made a significant impact on television with memorable roles in hit series like Mozart in the Jungle and Netflix's You. Tragically, Mark passed away in 2020 due to complications from COVID-19. He was 69 years old. Crocodile Dundee star Michael Lombard was originally from Italy, but later immigrated to the United States and made Brooklyn his home. In 1991, he received the prestigious Obie Award for his exceptional performance in the play What's Wrong With This Picture. On the small screen, Michael notably portrayed Marshall Beck in Filthy Rich between 1976 and 2005. Additionally, he made guest appearances in several popular American television series, including The Mary Tyler Moore Hour, The Rockford Files, and The Cosby Show. His contributions to the world of cinema came to an end with his passing in August 2020 at the age of 86. Terry Gill played a memorable character in Crocodile Dundee, portraying the leader of a group of kangaroo hunters whom Dundee encounters in a bar at the Walkabout Creek Hotel. He was also a beloved fixture of Australian television, where he portrayed Santa Claus for an impressive 27 years during the annual Carols by Candlelight event. Sadly, in late 2014, he experienced a mild stroke, and later he battled lung cancer. He passed away in Richmond in 2015. Aside from his unforgettable role in the iconic film, Rick Colletti gained recognition for his roles in Fort Apache The Bronx, The New Mike Hammer, and Barfly. The longtime resident of Southampton died in January, just two days shy of his 76th birthday, at Southampton Hospital in 2010. A year following her breakthrough in the fantasy film Dragon Slayer, Caitlin Clark secured a role in the comedy blockbuster. While she continued to take on smaller parts in films, she eventually returned to her initial passion, the theater, and starred in Titanic the Musical. In 2000, after receiving a diagnosis of ovarian cancer, Caitlin returned to her hometown of Pittsburgh. There, she dedicated herself to teaching and performing until her unfortunate passing four years later, at the age of 52. Actor and cabaret singer Anne Francine marked her Broadway debut in 1954 in By the Beautiful Sea. Her filmography encompassed notable works such as Juliet of the Spirits, Stand Up, and Be Counted Savages, with Crocodile Dundee being her last movie. Remarkably, she taught cabaret singers at the Eugene O'Neill Theatre in Waterford, Connecticut, even after losing her ability to speak due to a stroke in 1992. Sadly, she passed away in a Connecticut hospital in 1999 following another stroke. Paul Greco is most prominently recognized for his portrayal of Sully, the head of the Orphans Gang, in the 1979 film The Warriors. During the 1980s and the following decade, he had several film appearances to his credit, and even made a guest appearance on Miami Vice. Tragically, he succumbed to lung cancer in December 2008 at the age of 53. 
Sullivan Walker's versatile acting career included appearances in shows like The Pretender, The Sentinel, and The Cosby Show. Beyond the screen, he was a Broadway actor, notably appearing in Two Trains Running. Toward the end of his life, Sullivan embarked on a mission to establish a school and workshops in New York to support Caribbean actors in breaking into American film and television industries. Tragically, the 65-year-old succumbed to a heart attack in February 2012 at his Los Angeles residence. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.